Day 1A is in the books, and in just a few hours, a whole host of fresh faces will be making their way to the Rio in the hopes of writing themselves into poker history. Welcome to Day 1B of the 2011 WSOP main event. The first starting day of the main event attracted 897 players. With Day 1A usually the least popular, many tables were actually heavily stacked with poker pros and well-known faces. 556 players remain at the end of play, and some of those up the higher end of the leaderboard include three former main event finalists, Filippo Candio, Soy Win, and Raymond Ramy, recent bracelet winner David Diaz, Fatima Moreira de Mello, Sammy Calapuro, Lex Veldhaus, car player publisher Barry Schulman, and Olivier Busquet, who we spoke to at end of play. So, Liv, tell me about your day 1A. You've got plenty of chips there. Yeah, I have like 100k. Um, I played a couple pretty big pots. Uh, the first big pot that I played was actually a little bit, I wouldn't want to say embarrassing, but I, uh, I played a hand uh, for a, a decent, well, this is what happened, basically. Um, uh, a player who had been winning a lot of pots for me and doing really well um, opened under the gun. I three bet, he, it was 50 100, he opened to 300. I three bet to 900 with 5 8 of hearts. Um, just kind of trying to tr change my play up and trying to basically change gears a little bit and get hyper aggressive. I thought that would kind of change the dynamic between us a little bit and maybe give me a chance to. Uh, to, to change the results because he was building a lot of pots. Um, but anyway, then the Maven 4-bet, uh, after having actually made a comment, he made like kind of a joke and then 4-bet um, from the small blind and the combination of him being in the small blind, the fact that he 4-bet me who had 3-bet and under the gun raiser, like all these factors together, even the joke, made me think that he probably had aces or kings, like almost, and that was it. Um, so with my hand, we were really deep. I figured if I could hit a big flop, then maybe I could win a lot of chips. So I called, and uh, and the flop came king nine three all hearts. So it's a good flop for me. Yeah, he actually checked, um, and when he checked, I I actually thought that was really good because I felt like he still almost definitely had maybe queens with the queen of hearts, um, and maybe kings, but probably not because he probably just bet out with set there. Uh, but I thought aces with the ace of hearts or ace king with the ace of hearts was a very likely hand. Um, so I bet like 90% of the pot. He called the turn paired the board. He checked. I checked uh, for a little bit of deceptive value to try to get a big bet on the, on the river because he only had like 19, 18k left. Um, so I thought if I bet too big on the turn, I might actually lose him. Uh, the river was a blank. He checked and I bet 13,000 he ended up calling. So that was a big pot. Um, and I chipped up a little bit in other pots besides that. I actually flopped another flush in a multi-way pot and, uh, and won a decent size, decent size hand. And then I was moved to a new table uh, and originally thought my table would be better because my first table had like a lot of really known good players and that's not so typical on the first day of the main. But my second table ended up having some actually very, very good players too and huge chip stacks. I mean, there was a guy, I had like 100K and there was a guy who had more than me on my right with 120,000. Um, Clayton was uh, at my table. He had like 60 or 70,000. I mean, people had chips at my table. So, um, but I ended up doing fine. I, the last two levels were kind of quiet. I went up and down a little bit and then ended with 100. So I was happy with my first day. Okay, well, another thing that you're quite good at is the commentary. We've been hearing you on the live stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I got an opportunity to do commentary for uh, one of the grudge matches, Sammy Farhan and Chris Moneymaker, that was my first uh, my first run at it. And I was actually pretty nervous when I did it. Uh, and I think at the beginning, I was uh, a little bit anxious. Uh, I got another chance to do it yesterday uh, for the 50K final table, which was just really an awesome opportunity. I was really happy to be able to get that. And uh, I just felt a little bit more comfortable. And I think I was a little bit lucky to be able to uh, kind of predict some of the hands that they had. Um, 
and I really enjoyed it. I felt more comfortable, and I and I hope to get more opportunities because uh, I really liked it, and uh, and I, I got some positive feedback. So I hope the people who were listening liked it too. Well, hopefully not for the main event. We want to see you on the right side of the rail. For yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, I'm I'm gonna go as deep as I can in the main, and if I can get deep, that's great. And if I can't, and I get a chance to do some commentating, that's great too. Liv was one of the more notable players to finish with a good stack, but here is your official day one A leaderboard. The survivors of the first of four starting days must now wait three more days to play again, when they will take to the felt with the survivors of 1C for day 2A. In the meantime, we do this all again with day 1B. Stay tuned to Card Player for extensive coverage as we delve deeper into the 2011 WSOP main event.